But bitch, if I wasn't the personality I was, it would be no avenue for you to be on. Bitch, you on my show. So we too want to talk about paychecks and what's doing, who's doing what, bitch? You on my show. I am so good at what I've done, I've made an avenue for you, bitch. Bow down. I'm here, I'm in front. Come on, we gotta get to Atlantic City. So I get a phone call from Yandy, Jimmy's manager. She asked me to ride down to Atlantic City with her because Jimmy was having a show there. I usually don't go to Jimmy's shows, but if I'm gonna go, I'm thinking riding with Yandy is better than riding down with the fellas. How you gonna drive in them shoes? I don't know. Cause I'm not doing this drive by myself. Oh yes you are, sister. Listen, let's see what happens. Yandy's more like built-in family. Me and her go through a lot with that Jimmy. You know what I mean? Like, we gotta support each other to get through. Jimmy's always like, see if Tricky wants to come. Call her, try to convince her to come. I do appreciate that. Yeah, that's dope. I'm Yandy. I am a manager. I work with artists like Missy Elliott, Buster Rhymes, and of course, Jim Jones. You know what I deal with. I know, he's crazy. What's going on? He lost his engagement ring. Like, some days I look at him and I feel like, this is who I'm gonna be with for the rest of my life. And other days I look at him like, really? <laughs> Enough about that Enough. I always thought that opposites attract, but they're the same and they attract. They are so emotional. What's up with you and Mama, Mama Jones? Nothing. You haven't spoken to her? No. I'm a psychotic B, 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 B. No. You know, Jim said that he was gonna go talk to her and I don't really deal with it. That's his mother. Oh, well, I got you a little something about a week ago. I think you're gonna like it. I think I'm not. The daughter-in-law rules. Yeah. Keep this close to your heart. Bye, my put. Try not to get defensive with your mother-in-law. Follow a complaint by your mother-in-law with a self-deprecating comment. This book is insane. And that's really all that matters to you? She has this talent, and it's a check to be got? No, wait. Yes. So that's all that really matters to you? At this that's talent. Jimmy, you know, this is how you feel? At this talent, you, the hottest mess of all messes. Can I tell you something, though? In At the gym. end of the day, so when you start talking about checks and like that's all that matters that matters it's it very a, important it, it, it is it's very important it is. So but if you keep putting have... this check story and they're important you're gonna yourself i'm talking about your relationship with jimmy because that's yeah. all that matters to me because lately hard. every time i'm around you all you keep talking about is my money my money my money i don't know who put the battery in her back i don't know what's going on with her this is not the same girl that i've known for seven years and I don't like it. How much time? You have a client that makes more money for no, you than listen. him? If Jimmy was Do you have here, another client that makes more? It doesn't matter. It's no, not I, important. I, I, it is important to me. It's not important. Do you have another client that I'm, makes more money important. for you than Jimmy? Jimmy makes a lot of money for me, and I love Jimmy okay. to death. So then it's hold not him important. in a certain light. And That's I do. What I'm it doesn't look good if your manager is always referring to you as my money. What is that? That doesn't look good. Do you manage to buy it now? <laughs> There's been speaks of it. I don't, but do you, you manage? Of it. No. Let me tell you. I heard you do. But let me and your client it. at my house? Not happy about it. I manage talent. Nothing. I don't know if Kim Bella's talent yet, and I don't know if Samaya's talent. You don't know Kim Bella's talent I don't yet? I don't understand what Chrissy's doing. I don't know what she's going through, but she has a problem with no problem. It's never about checks when it comes to but gym. But stop carrying it like that, because no, no, that's no. what you do. Because if it was about checks with gym, I would have been Every going on a long time, time, time ago. Ear. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. What you so say? Everybody else, wait, a minute, wait, what you say? I said if it, it was, was only about checks, checks I might have been going a long time ago. It's all about the heart and the love. love. Manager money is humble money. If you want to be the loud, crazy showboat, then you need to be the artist. Uh, I'm not talking about that. I'm done. I'm done. No, I'm done. Really, I'm done. Because nobody ever see, everybody looks at me like I'm bugging out, like I'm the crazy one, like I'm the mean one. I just have no room for both. And Yandy, you need to go. Listen to me. I sat in there, you asked me about money. You said, do you manage Samaya? I said, no, but I could. I don't manage every nut and boo-boo on the street. Yeah, Camilla asked me, could I manage her? I said, look, you don't have anything to manage right now, but if you get popping and if you're a popping pop star and you have talent, I definitely will. And at the end this, of the day, right. what it's about is a check. Instead of I don't give a, role, a fuck about listen, none of these bitches you talking about. But that's I'm fine. asking you, you about Jimmy. And listen, I didn't mention 
Jim's name not one time in there. Actually, but I did. Yandy's a blabbermouth. And I don't know if that's a part of her whole managerial game, you know, having to deal with promoters and everything, but in real life, it ain't working. I feel like you and Jimmy have too much history for it to be just about a check. And you know that and what I'm doing from the gum, it I, doesn't I, matter. You know what? what it you is. ain't gonna front on me ever no, in front of anybody. Fronted on you. It wasn't about that. We were talking about Mama Jones. We were talking about Kimmy. It was never about Jim. Why exactly. would you bring Jimmy to this mix? They don't know that your relationship with Jimmy is different. They just hearing how you. Well, then they better get to know me. I it don't doesn't. Care what it they doesn't think. matter. I see it and I don't like it. But, 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 check but it. you're not hearing where I'm coming at from. all. Okay, so guess what? You I won't don't. hear it. You won't hear it. Come on. Mm. From the lack of income. Right then and there, I don't play no more. Game stop. Uh, hold the hold, hold, hold uh, It's over. You're not gonna play with my money. It's not gonna happen. You're not. This is a conversation that you and Jimmy need to have because you don't manage me. You you manage him. Yeah, and I'm, I, I'm, a, I'm uncomfortable with the way you carrying him. If he feels like you keeping him in the company of Tamaya no. and Kim Bella. But, you, but how? Because I came to a showcase? Bitch, good luck. Because, I because came to I'm a having a conversation with you, and you talk about checks, 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 and then you talking to them about checks. And Jim, and Jim knows. Jim, and when I talk to Jim, it's about checks, checks, checks to him. I make sure Jim is working. You make I'm sure he's working? Yeah, I get him shows and and deals and everything. That's my okay. job. That's what I do. Okay. And I think I'm I do a, it that, very well. OK, and you should think that. Because I if do. you didn't think that, who would? I don't know. Maybe Chrissy thinks she could do my job. Um, can you do income breakdowns? Can you plan a tour? You know promoters? You know how to use Excel? Word? You looking like you a show in the tank no. right now. And I might have to be sometimes. And guess what? And I am that But sometimes. not around here. And, you and need I, to and know and I, and I discretion. And I know the when, when I know where, the who, and who. I know no. the how. You know how. I know the how I bought my car. How. I know the how I got my jewels. Do that's bitch. what I know how Deuce. I bought it. And that's what's important. Guess what? I hope you invested. That's and what I, I'm and saying. I invest very well. I hope you invest. That's why I have this I have. So Jim wanted me to make this right with Christy. I called her and I told her I was gonna take her out to a restaurant. What was that about the other night? In every relationship, there should be boundaries. And I feel like you crossed all of them the other night. How? Well, for one, I'm already dealing with the fact that me and Nancy's situation isn't an easy one. And for you to bring me a book, because Nancy and I, that's a very touchy situation hey, that has nothing to do with you and oh. I never include you in it. If I gave you the book and I hurt your feelings by doing that, I think that's bullshit, but fine, Chrissy. That's not what I was trying to do. You just said giving you the book, I Chrissy. think it's bullshit. So how are we gonna get past it? When it came to her handing me a book on how to be a good daughter-in-law, I feel like it was a lack of consideration. And then she gets up and dances in my face to a song that was put out to be hurtful and mean. She crossed boundaries with me that she had never crossed before. Did you ever ask me how I felt about the song or the video? I never asked you. OK. So then, if why would you get up and think it's something to laugh and dance about? Christy, you're supposed to be family. That's funny. They should have told me. OK, well, guess what? Me you're going to get up and be dancing that. to Nancy's song like it's a fucking joke? Do you know what that Christy, feels like? I don't know what it's so like. So don't fucking play I with don't, me. Don't talk to me like that, Christy. Listen to me. We see you having a conversation. Okay. I'm a music connoisseur. So I got up, heard the beat, and I began to do a little two-step. Sorry. But if it made you feel a certain type of way, why sit there and laugh and Here play with me? Christy. Because I would rather leave it alone. But you didn't leave it alone. Exactly, you because it wasn't about the Jay. first. It wasn't because that's where you went with it. Come on, it felt like you were trying to set me up to mm. play Jamal. Like, come on, why are you asking me these questions in because front of these girls? you don't listen to me when I'm talking to you. Chrissy, so I listen to you. But when you talking about you shit I don't understand, your bullshit is to hurt my feelings? get at you. That's because whack. I told you. What that's the fuck whack. you think what you've been doing that's me whack. Whack. Then pull me aside and tell me I the word. I tried to when? the first time with the Kim situation. I told you to back off. You didn't stop pushing the issue about something that I felt strongly about. I already felt bad because I shouldn't have put my hands on her. But now you're pushing the issue for me to do something outside of being feeling bad about it. You want me to go to her and you, you feel me like you wouldn't stop pushing it. And then when you finally decided to stop pushing that issue, you bring me a daughter-in-law book. Do you understand where we're going with this? And then we get to a club and then you're getting up and you're dancing and you're laughing and everything is funny and you're still not considering how it would make me feel. So at that point, the gloves came off. Do you get that? You gotta understand, my position is, 
I'm very close with Jewels. I'm very close with Jim, and I thought I was very close okay. with you. Okay. But listen to me. I'm trying to get you and someone to get along that's in our and, family. And you're not backing off. Okay, listen. Why does that make you mad? You don't get that your behavior is unacceptable? How are we gonna work it out when you're not receiving the information I'm trying to give you? It's like talking to the table itself. I'm done. Once it was your place you, once to say once Chrissy. You, that was you crazy to you. And that's why I said Chrissy. That was crazy. If it was why once I happen? addressed it, I wouldn't and feel I this way. Listen, I addressed it at the nail salon. And and I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. God can't get me to walk back here and talk to you. I'm done with you. First time I'm seeing you since our lovely blow up. Mm, since you walked out on me and turned your back and when you started to mix it with my personal business, with Jimmy's mother, I think you started to cross lines that you have nothing to do with. You got up to the song, you never had a conversation with me about how it felt. On top of that, it was disrespectful to your client because that's his mama. But, but when you, but Christy, when you get to, I'm gonna stop your checks from coming in. Oh, well, that was done. You're a that, whack manager. That was intentional. That, that, that was intentional. Was. That was meant to get on your nerves. But it was so easy for me to apologize because I was never intending to hurt your feelings. But well, I wasn't intending did... to hurt your feelings because okay. you hurt mine. All right. You feel like I'm a whack manager? You haven't taken him to the level that he can go to. I haven't so taken maybe... Jim from being a $2,500 artist to being well you, over that. You, you did that? Yeah, I'm gonna own that one. For real. Okay. I, I can't. I, I don't know, you saying okay, like you're being sarcastic. No, yeah, I, I absolutely I have. Okay. So I'm not gonna let nobody sit here and say I'm a whack manager. And well, but if I you feel like but now, but, but when I got under your skin, I apologize. So you wait for an apology? Yeah, that'll make me feel better. Nah. So Yandy has the audacity to ask me for an apology. For what? You and Kim must be sipping from the same stupid juice, because it's not happening. I sent Jim an email just outlining some of the events that have taken place over the past few months. All of a sudden, Chrissy has a big problem with me, and I wanted to get it addressed. My loyalty has never wavered when it came to Jim. So how dare you turn on me because she's turning on me? I feel completely betrayed. To sit back and let your girl come at me crazy after numerous times me coming to you like, Jim, I've apologized, fix this. I just want to get money with you. And you say nothing, and you sit there with your mouth closed? What more can I do? Hang my back now, I got to go. Wanna watch the truth unfold. It's time I go this alone. Nothing to consider. Finally, I got sick and tired of having to battle with him and his girlfriend. This is business. When I left Violator, I dedicated my life and my time and my energy to you. Don't forget what we've been through. Don't forget all the victories because you got a chick at home that's trying to hate on your money because she don't like you. And for no reason at that. I'm done, I'm tired. I can't fight no more. I quit. It's time I go this alone. I go alone. I'm minding my business. I'm having a good time. Then I look up and Yandy's standing there. I can see you. You're a colorful zebra. You got a chest like a 12-year-old boy with sequins, bitch. I can see you. Yandy, you got something you want to say to me? You got something you want to show me? Like no. an engagement ring? You, you, you don't get to play with me like that. It's too far gone. You, you went way too personal. You asking my man about why he buying me bags and shoes, bitch. You done crossed the line. I never asked him. You got to go. Bitch, I, I read the email. That's what he was doing. Bitch, I read the email. Oh, well, I'm glad Get you. Yourself. I'm glad you can read. She knew she was about to get fired, so she tried to quit first. Mm. So she sent a very disrespectful email that blended personal and professional, which should never happen if you're a manager. I, I can't even get my thoughts together when it comes to that bitch. You want to talk to me outside? You want to talk to me outside? Come on. I, no, not Come on. Really. Talk to me outside. Talk to me outside, Yandy. Talk to me outside. Talk right here. Why you want to take it outside? We right here. What are we going to do outside that we can't do right here? Let's handle this right here, right now. Talk to me outside, you whack ass bitch.
So how dare you talk about me and my job? And just because I quit don't mean I ain't gonna make money off him. I still got checks coming in, Ma. How you feel about that one? Baby, you better come get this bitch right now for a killer. I'm on 17th and Lincoln Road. If you don't come get this bitch, I'm a killer. I'm telling you right now. Yandy, Yandy tried it. F it, I'm calling all stops, bitch. It's not going down. I think she ran and kicked me. Like, who does that? Maybe when you're five, you do that, but not 45. Come on, Ma, you serious? Jimmy, you don't even have to come on. I'm gonna kill this bitch. She's still mad that I get money and she has to sleep with a get money? At this point, she's gonna pay for it now. You got all these hoes around you and you acting like you big duck? Them bit, once I beat you the fuck up, they gonna help you? Really? First of all, I'm too old for the boat. But disrespect just does not sit well with me. So, I threw caution to the wind. I'm gonna wait for you outside. All right, so what are you doing now? I'm waiting for her to come outside. That's what I'm doing. Bye! And unless you're gonna call the cops on me, ain't nobody getting me to move. That's what I'm doing. Why am I leaving like this? She's not gonna do it. If she would have did, she would have did it when I walked in. Why are you so scary? On the phone, calling Jim. Calling Jim for what? That's like calling my brother. What are you doing? We all a family. You the outside of anybody. Nobody really likes you. Sorry, secret exposed. They don't like you. She's still in the club. She gotta come out the club eventually. Oh my God, you have me going out the back door? Yeah, where's your car? You got the car ready? Yeah, we're ready, let's go. But guess what? They got me five security officers on me. What am I supposed to do? I can't knock them down to get to her. Okay. Why am I leaving? Just, just for safety. I'm not though. leaving, Kim. I'll bring her down, okay? Can you bring her down? I'm yeah. not leaving her. I'll bring her, I'll get her now. Listen, you don't have to come over here. I'm gonna wait for her. Bro. She was mad because you didn't say congratulations or anything. I said, let me see the ring. Why you ain't want to show me the ring? Because you know it's fake. It's an installment plan, bitch. I thought you was already engaged. No, you're installed for another two years. That's what happened. You got an installment plan. That bitch is not on my level. So I can't even have a real conversation with her. Because I'm here, and she's there. But with Jimmy, she's in the middle. And without Jimmy, she's back down there. And that's what that bitch needs to realize. Get out of here, you whack-ass bitch. Bye. As far as Christy, I don't need nothing from her. She don't need to apologize. She don't need to acknowledge me. Don't speak to me. I prefer that. Don't even look in my direction, because I don't even want to see you. Please, just don't come around. I would never grace her with my presence. <laughs> that bitch. That's what's next for us. I mean, you guys probably, what, knew each other eight years? Yeah. What was that relationship like? We weren't girlfriends. We didn't hang out. But I considered Jim family, so I considered her family. I don't hang out with Yandy. So if we're going to talk real, I was only there with Yandy because that's what you guys wanted. I've known Yandy how long? I don't hang out with Yandy. I may have had a drink with her once or twice in seven years. But we absolutely talked all the time. When she had issues with Mama Jones, she would call me. When Mama Jones had issues with her, she would call. She wasn't acting very professionally to me. When we brought you on the show originally, it was, oh, Jim's manager, another female in his life, somebody else for Chrissy to bounce stuff and off And I of. was fine with that. Right, exactly. You know. but, but to your credit, you were funny, you were charismatic. We wanted to see more of Yandy, and we did expand your role. And right when those roles got expanded, that's when it was like, oh, no. Let me call the producers, let me call Jim. We gotta sit Yandy down, because this is, this, is, this is my thing. In fact, after each show, we do what we call green screen interviews. During one of our many interviews with Chrissy, she made it clear that she thought Yandy had stepped out of her lane. But bitch, if I wasn't the personality I was, it would be no avenue for you to be on. Bitch, you on my show. So we too want to talk about paychecks and what's doing, who's doing what, bitch? You on my show. I am so good at what I've done, I've made an avenue for you, bitch. Bow down. I thought that she would come on the show and represent Jimmy and grow his brand. I didn't know that she would be in every crazy incident that happened. So you guys had a conversation about them wanting you to quit the show? Oh, absolutely. OK, Jim called me and said, Chrissy just feels like you're doing too much. This is going to ca cause problems with me, you, and Chrissy, so you just need to quit the show. And you made a decision to stay on the show? Was I under contract? And was I getting paid to do this? Okay. OK. She traded her managerial hat in for reality TV. So there you have it. Stop asking me about me.
Hey y'all, it's your girl Yandy. If you like that video, make sure you subscribe to the new Love & Hip Hop YouTube channel because it's about to be popping. You're gonna see all the old stuff, all the new stuff. We getting it popping up there. All right, period, poo.